Hello everyone, let's take a look at this little problem, compares with XOR in a range. It's a hard problem and it's a large problem in weekly context, and the acceptance rate is pretty low. Okay, let's take a look. look. So the problem is uh, given integer error numbers and two integers low and high, we need to return the number of nice pairs. What is nice pairs? A nice pair is a pair I J, where I J is in the range and uh, the XOR of num i and num j is within the low and high range. For example, uh, here, low is two high six. There are six such nice pairs. Their x r is within and two and six. Okay, let's take a look at constraint. So the nums length and uh, each nums i is within one and two multiply 10 to the fourth. Of course, for a lot x r problem, we need to use try, same here. And since the constraint is to multiply 10 to the fourth, so the height is 14 here. The height means uh, actually here, I will for loop from height to zero. So the height is 14, but the actual height is 15 here. We know that two to 16 is about um, 60K. Then two to 15 is about 30K, which is greater than the constraint. So the actual height can be um, 15. Here I define 14 since I will loop zero one more time. Okay, and this is the definition of my uh, tree node. I just have two nodes here and I have a count initialized to zero. And the insert function is, uh, is the typical function to insert a node into the try. Okay, so the most important part here, uh, Assume we have function get count, which returns how many numbers in try that x of given number is smaller than limit. If we have this function, then we can write code like this. For each num, I just get count um, past high plus one, then minus uh, get count past low here. We know um, high, the first function returns like how many numbers, uh, how many set test and satisfied numbers such are like XR with smaller than high plus one. The second one is smaller than J. So if, if we subtract the uh, first one from the second one, our uh, second one from the first one, then we get the num numbers with the, in the range low to high, right? Okay, every time we uh, calculate the, like how many numbers in this tri node XR my count num, then I just insert my num into my try. Okay, so the most difficult part here is how to implement the get count function. Okay, let's take an example. This is our root. And assuming height is two, which is, uh, means we have three levels. Let's insert some number first. One is zero, zero, one, two, so. We have this node and the count is one. Then we insert four, which is one zero zero. Okay. Then we insert two, which is zero one zero. Note the count becomes two here. At last, we insert seven one one one. The count also becomes two here. Okay. Let's take an example. Get count six four. Six is our num. Four is our limit. So we need to know like how many numbers in our trial that X or six um, produce a number which is smaller than four. We need to know how many numbers satisfy in this condition. Okay, let's go through the example. At first, we are at node root. And the six is one, one, zero in binary representation. Limit is four, which is one, zero, zero in binary representation. We know that this bit is one here. Oh, the bit of six is also one here, which is in green color. So if we choose the right part, which means uh, those numbers that um, has a bit one, we know one X or one is zero, which means all these numbers in this branch are smaller than limit since the bit of the limit is one. So the so right node has count two and uh, all the counts can contribute to my answer. And I need to go to left left part here, since uh, all the 
write nodes are smaller than my limit, right? If uh, it x or six, so there's still some nodes in my left part that can contribute to my answer. Then we need to go to left part. Okay, in this case, the bit of limit is zero. The bit of six is one. Assuming if we go to left part, we know then say those numbers have the bit zero in this case, if we choose left. Zero x or one is one, which means like all elements in this, this branch after x or are greater than the limit. So we don't need to care about them since they are greater than limit. We want to get the number smaller than limit. So we just go to right part. In this case, limit is also, also zero. So the bit of six is zero. Then same as before, we just go to the left part. Okay, let's go through uh, the code. So at first we know uh, the bit limit is one. So we go to the if branch. Then we just contribute the bit num um, chart branch, the count to our answer, right? So count plus is uh, count next bit num um, count. Okay, after we contribute the count, we just go to the left part, which is uh, one minus bin num, which is uh, in this case is left part. Okay, next we know the bit of limit is zero. Now we go to the else branch. Then we just go to the bin num branch. Bin num is one, so we go to right part. Okay, now limit is still zero. So bin limit is zero, we go to the else branch. Bin num is zero in this case. So we go to left part. Okay, so it works. This is our get count function implementation. Okay, let's wrap them together. The left part is um, the definition of the tree node. And uh, we also implement the insert function here. The insert function is pretty typical. Okay, next we have the most difficult part, the get count function. It returns like, how many numbers in my tree after x or my num, and the values is smaller than limit. So the most difficult part is uh, the if else branch. So, uh, the best practice is to draw some nodes and uh, just like this, and we can go through some examples. Okay. Then in the main function is pretty simple and clean. We just for loop each number. And for each number, we try to get some count here and we insert it into our tree. Okay, that's it. See you next time.